Let's go, it's the Whitey Show. Last of Us 1 was very much the PS3 swan song. People were hyping up the PS4, but Sony said, nah, you got one more game to play before you give up on me. And Last of Us delivered big time with an emotional story filled with interesting characters, visceral gameplay, and fun as hell multiplayer added on it. Then came 2, and the internet, as always, Prejudges a game before they actually play it. What's new, right? This isn't to say that all of Last of Us 2 shouldn't be judged, because there's legit cr criticism out there that I've read and I understand, and not every game's for everything, but I'd say a good 90% that I've read, it's just bullshit, outcry, fucking culture. I, I just hate all this bickering and, this is so woke, and this is this. Shut the fuck up and just go away. Anyway, let's talk about the game. Here we go. So Last of Us is here. Uh, this game takes place a few years after the events of the first game. Humans are still shitty, clickers are still clicking, and Ellie is just trying to live her best life, you know, smacking up some sexist pigs while getting eaten out. Or maybe she's doing the eating. Who knows? Point is, the game sets up in a town with Ellie and Joel as her kind of father figure, and they're kind of like, not on good terms in the beginning, and you're like, what's happening here? And then, uh, it seems kind of a little comfy, a little, little different than the last game, and... I really enjoyed that. As you're going through this town, it feels like a home. And that's something that we didn't get in the last game, because the last game was basically just being on the road all the time in hell. So it was a very different style of starting off the game this way. Soon we're introduced to another character, Abby, and she has her own team of people hunting someone or something. Soon, both worlds will collide in a brutal way as Abby stumbles upon the very person she was aiming to hunt, while Ellie is also now having a new target to kill. Happy. I want what you want, but not at any cost. Hey. Don't. And that's what Last of Us 2 does so well. It gives us an emotional impact behind both characters you play as. Easy to point figures at who's bad, who's good. But perspective is really the big thing in video games because people gain a perspective of someone they love or care about because they see everything about them. Characters like Walter White or Tony Soprano and so on, these most beloved characters in all of fictional media, despite them being horrible people and they do horrible things, you still get the balance of the other side, that they're not always horrible, so you understand where they're coming from even if their uh, ways of doing things are horrible. So, I know I keep saying horrible, but the point is that these characters are viewed in a perspective that you enjoy or like because that's the view that they gave you. However, if you look at it from other people's perspective, these people are terrible. And this game very much gives you two characters that you can consider as bad at times, while also doing things that you see as good, or fits the situation based on what happened. But what really the story breaks down to is revenge and its vicious cycle. And sure, we've had other stories do this before, uh, but this game does it point blank, no whole bars, just telling you right in your face that everything you do, every time you do revenge, it will cause death over and over again. And even innocent people, or more innocent than some, are going to get caught, uh, caught in the crosshair. And that's what I love the most, is that everybody falls victim to revenge. Anyway, the point is, I love the majority of this story. Despite some pacing issues, which I'll get to in a minute, the story itself feels heavy with a sense of remorse and loss that matches the first game. Going in and experiencing this without any spoilers is the best possible outcome, as it will hit you harder 
with multiple characters changing their viewpoints and changing yours, which is the best part of it throughout this campaign. The gameplay takes what the first gave and improves it pretty much in every way. The AI of the characters are far better, they're adapting to the way you play, you have to uh, far more of movement and more free range. You even get a jump button, which is nice, and ways to dispatch foes using traps, guns, silencers, axes, bats, and more. The in-your-face clawing, killing, bashing that was in the first game is still very much here, especially with how much the graphics have improved, though. The killings feel so much more vicious than the last game, but it's really to show this dark and gritty world in the best possible way. And talking about the graphics, this game is stunning to look at. The motion capture of the people, the dialogue, the way everyone moves and acts, it is amazing. I mean, the first game already did that, but this is on another level. People walked in while I was playing this game and they were like, what movie are you watching? And I'm just like, nah, this is a game. I mean, graphics keep improving, but man, I don't even know what we're going to get better than this in the next year or two because this looks fucking stunning. And really, there's a lot of other features like how you could upgrade your weapons, how you can upgrade your characters, uh, and also a bigger world, kind of like a hub world in some places that you can explore, which is pretty cool given that the gameplay is better. It's actually fun to explore these places. Um, so all this extra added stuff definitely helps give the uh, longevity of the game and give it a little bit of boost there. Uh, and th honestly, the game is filled with so much greatness, but... Here are my negatives here, or my biggest negative is the pacing. It's a little wonky. It slows down in spots that I least expected it to. I also think the way they change the characters between the two and how they do it would have worked better if they went back and forth over and over again to give the suspense purpose. However, the more I think about it, the more the dreadfulness of doing it the way they did is kind of special in its own way. So I can't really ever decide which way I would have liked. Uh, also... And this is just, to be honest, I love this world and these characters, but the game offers a very bleak world. And so like the first, it may not be for everyone. And that's 100% okay. So listen, I love this game for the most part. I actually think that it did a few things better than one. Uh, pressuring me to decide what was right or wrong in this game is a great uh, way to kind of make me judge myself and what I would do and there's some amazing gameplay moments more than even the first in my opinion the graphics are on another level too let's just get that out of the way uh, I'd say the characters were great too but I don't know if I connected as much as I did with uh, Joel or Ellie in their first adventure uh, and the first game very much felt like uh, a kind of like a terrible road trip this game feels very much like a revenge tale so it's always now biting killing murdering and the other games more surviving uh but i really enjoyed the cast here and there's plenty of deaths to make you wince and cry i'm gonna award this game a very high score one of the highest i give 9.5 out of 10 it is one of the best games i played the entire generation despite a few flaws and it is very much worth picking up so go grab it check it out don't listen to all the internet shit just make your own opinion if you didn't like it that's fine if you did love it like me that's awesome uh, but don't let the internet sway you because it's just a bunch of outcrying little baby bitches. So ignore them. Uh, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this review. Got a ton more you can check out. And I uh, hope you have a great day. You should have given us a group to go after those fuckers. I wish I could. You gotta try to lock me up? I'd prefer that you stay. That's not gonna fucking happen. I'd prefer that you stay, but I know you better. You going with her? Yeah. So you're just gonna sneak out of here? On foot? Yeah. I told the stable to let you out with your horse. Grab some ammo too. Thank you, Maria.